Hey what's going on guys Sandeep here and this is another common problem with Windows 10 that sometimes it won't show Wi-Fi option on the settings even on the taskbar and on the settings. If you click on this option then you won't be able to see Wi-Fi networks and if you go to network and internet you won't be able to see any network on your Windows 10 listed there. So in this video I will show you how you can fix this problem on your Windows 10. So the first thing you should check is that if it is a problem with Windows 10 or there is any problem with your computer hardware like network card. For that you can go to start menu then search for CMD then open command prompt. Now type there ping then space 127.1.1.1 then hit enter on your keyboard. And if you are getting this kind of reply then there is nothing wrong with your computer hardware it is just a Windows 10 problem. Ok now let's fix this problem on Windows 10. So the first thing you should do is go to start and search for control panel. And from there go to network options. Now go to advanced tab. And just click on restore advanced settings and then click on reset and click on reset again and it will reset the internet options on your windows 10 but this may not fix the problem. So the next thing you can do is press windows plus r key together on your keyboard and type there services.msc then hit ok and you will get a list of windows services on your uh, computer. From there you need to look for wlan auto config. And make sure this service is running. If it is not running then you will get an option to start this service on the top. And also you can right click on this service and go to properties. And from there you will get option to start it from here. And make sure the startup type is selected as automatic. And after that hit apply and ok. And you have to restart your windows 10. And if the wlan auto config service is already running then you have to follow the next method. For this go to start and open settings and go to network and internet and then go to change adapter options. Click on it and you will get your Wi-Fi adapter listed there. If it is disabled then you need to right click on it and click on enable. But if it is already enabled then you can try to disable this uh, Wi-Fi adapter and enable it again. So just right click on it and uh, click disable then click on enable. And doing this may enable the network adapter on your windows 10 and you would be able to see the networks. And if it is still not working then press windows plus r key together on your keyboard and type there devmgmd.msc then hit ok. And on this screen look for network adapters and expand the options. And here you will get your Wi-Fi network adapter listed here. Just check for the network adapter written there. It may be Broadcom, Etheros, Realtek or any other network adapter. Now right click on it and click on update driver. Since you are not connected to the Wi-Fi you won't be able to search for automatic uh, driver installation. Click on browse my computer for drivers. Then uh, click on let me pick from a list of available drivers. Now here you have to select the driver to the date where your Wi-Fi was working and click on next and next to install the driver. And also you can try to install other drivers to check. And after doing this you have to restart the Windows 10 and check if the Wi-Fi option is showing or not. If not then come back to this page, right click on this network driver and click on properties. And then go to power management. And uncheck this option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. After that hit ok. And then check if you are getting network options or not. If not then come back to this page again. Right click on your network driver and click on uninstall device. Then click on uninstall. And after the uninstall you need to restart the windows 10 again. Once you restart the PC it will automatically install the driver again. And check if you are able to connect to the internet or not. I mean if you are getting Wi-Fi options or not. And if you are still unable to see the Wi-Fi network option then go to settings, network and internet and then click on network reset. Click on reset now. 
then hit yes to confirm and after that windows 10 will restart itself and reset your network settings everything related to network will be deleted and it will start as fresh and if it is still not working then go to start menu search for cmd right click on it then run as administrator and you can try to fix the network socket error if there is any problem by typing net sh space winsock space reset then hit enter and then type net sh space int space ip then space reset then space reset log dot txt then hit enter on your keyboard and it will clear the ipv4 logs from your windows 10 and after that you have to restart your windows 10 again and check if you are able to see wi-fi networks or not by any chance if it is still not working then you have to get another working computer where you can access the internet go to the google and just search for your uh, laptop model number then network driver or if you have custom built pc then you can find the network card driver just look for motherboard model number or the network card model number and download its driver in case it is a laptop so i have to download the network driver for the laptop manufacturer website you may have to select your operating system and after that you will get this kind of network driver like intel wireless lan or any other wireless lan driver and then copy and paste that driver to your computer and install it after the installation you may be able to see the wi-fi network in the most cases these methods should help you to fix the problem but if you are still getting the problem then press windows plus r key together on your keyboard type there ms config then hit ok now go to uh, services tab and click on enable all the services hit apply then ok then you need to restart your windows 10 after that check if you are able to connect to the network or not so these were some methods to fix the problem when wi-fi option is not showing on windows 10 settings and you are unable to connect to the wi-fi network and that's all for this video guys and two of them who are still watching i wish you all the best in coming year and happy new year in advance stay happy stay safe